How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today I got this little one for you. The Saki Lane Crusher M7. X7 BBBBBBB brings us this one. <laughs> and I'm actually uh, not sure what this one's based off of either. I don't know if it's Samurai or Tudor Land Cruiser. I, I don't really know. Let me know, because I have no idea. He's also ha uh, got a an add-on pack with this. So I got that installed too. So we'll take a look at that as well. well. Let's see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, you have the default, the powerful, and the even more powerful. So well, I guess we'll do that. Gearbox, you got the default, the highway, and the off-road. Uh, we'll do the off-road first. Suspension, you got stock, raised, and tuned custom. Oh, we'll go with raised. Give it just a little extra ground clearance, I guess. Tires. Not, not a bad little selection of tires, I guess. All right, now I think I'm going to go with the 37-inch Max's mud wheels. But he has the 39-inch MS1s, and I'm not sure if this is like the regular in-game tire or not, or if he's done anything with these. But I'll go with the 37 uh, mud wheels. We'll try those. Winch, you got the default, extended, extended and powered. Independent. And powered. Okay, I don't know which one is offline. Uh, we'll try the extended and powered. I, I honestly don't know. Diff lock, that's already engageable. Spare wheel, ah, we don't need that. Snorkel, you got the regular snorkel. Or the pipe snorkel. I'll go with the, the regular, I, I'm sure. Frame add-ons, you got cab supplies, it gives you some repair parts and some fuel. Or you got a roof rack, it gives you even more repair parts, but just a little tiny bit of fuel. That's interesting. We'll, we'll do the cab supplies, sure. Uh, rear bumper. You got bumper one, bumper two, or bumper three. It's the same as the previous one, but in blue. <laughs> That's a good little caption, I like that. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. Makes it look a little different. Front bumper, you got bumper one, bumper two, oh my. Bumper three, or bumper four. Or you could just go with no front bumper at all. Wow, that gives you a really good approach angle. Look at that. Wow. But I kind of want to dress it up. So we'll we'll do bumper three. Sure. Grill. You got griller one or grill two. We'll do grill two. Sure. Stickers. Got the back door sticker, but I don't see it. Is it is it behind the, the gas can? Got the side sticker. Or the sticker on the back part of the truck there. I'll, I'll leave those alone. Other, you got the antenna. You got the an exo cage. That's awesome. Internal cage. And you got little fender flares you can put on it too. We'll, we'll do that. And we'll do both cages. Sure. Maybe I didn't turn on the, the add-on pack. I, I don't know if I did or not. Because I think there was a little bit more to it than this. Ooh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Uh, colors, you got a few different options. I don't know, we'll do this dark gray. We got bobbleheads and other accessories too. Let's go see how this little thing does. Actually it looks like a mean little little off-roader. <laughs> yeah, look at this little thing. Hell yeah. It does kind of remind me of like a Suzuki Samurai. Interior yeah, it's uh, not a bad little interior in this thing. Sounds like a little, like a little four cylinder or something. See, he does say in the the little caption of the exo cage that it does take off some add-ons. It's not compatible with them, and it did remove that rear bumper. Oh, maybe I'll try a different bumper on it. Well, we'll do that later though. No all-wheel driver diff lock on all the time. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. And it'll just pull your scout trailers. All right. Well, let's go see how this little thing does on its own first. Oh, boy. I can tell right now it's going to be a little handful. Put it in full-wheel drive right away. Oh, my. Let's take her through the mud pit here. 
Alright. Well, so far... It seems like you get into some of the deeper stuff in it. I wouldn't say it struggles. But it, it, it does slow down. I haven't... Technically stopped yet. I am rocking third gear. Maybe that's too much. Let's bring her down. Put in low and lock the diff up. All right. It didn't do that too terribly. I think Swampy Town is going to be a bit of a bit challenging for this thing. But oh my! Oh, it, it got rid of my snorkel, too. Oh, that might become an issue. Oh, boy. <clears throat> if lock all the time would probably be pretty nice with this little bastard. Well, we're still just kind of trucking along. I mean, I am only running a 37-inch tire on this thing, so it's not super crazy off the ground, so you are going to be dragging your diffs and all that. Yeah, but this thing's still just kind of chugging along. Maybe stuff like this is just a little too much for it. This is a pretty nasty area. I mean, once you get out of the water, though, it, it seems to do okay. But there are a lot of obstacles in the water in this part of the map. It's not easy. All right, so let's see how it does through the down trees. Oh, get over it. There we go. Come on, up and over. Oh, oh. All right. Yeah, it's just trucking along. Let's see how it does the deep spot. I think I'm actually going to start taking damage here. Yep. Uh-oh. Come on, keep going. God, I didn't even notice the snorkel. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have changed it right away. All right. Took a little bit of damage. That water was just a little too deep. With no snorkel, anyway. We... Probably wouldn't have taken any damage at all. But so far, the little guy is... It's doing it. Oof. Yeah, I mean, it was slow through there, but I don't think... This thing is meant to be going through stuff like that. Not at all. Yeah, let's see how it does in the river. Oh yeah, we're gonna start taking damage again. Let's put it in low. Lock the diff up. Is that gonna get us through here a little quicker? I guess I can't really tell. Well, I mean, it did it. Well, it did it slowly, but it did it. Not too bad. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeah, I guess we'll just rock it without the uh, the snorkel on, because I don't really need it anymore anyway. That was pretty much the end of the uh, of the water we're really going to be going through. Oh my! She gets she gets squirrely. Let's see how it does some rocks here. The short... Oh, I'm going off the steep side. Oh, oh. The short wheelbase. I don't know if that's... going to hurt me or help me here. It's, <laughs> it's probably not going to do me any good. Sometimes those longer vehicles... Oh, okay. Well, it went up the first spot pretty easy. And sometimes the longer vehicles have an easier time. Oh, come on, get up there. 
Oh boy. Oh. Oh man. Come on, get up there. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, and this isn't an offline winch either. Ah. All right. All right, let's give it another shot. This thing is all over the place. Oh. Oh, come on, you're almost there. Oh, man. Oh, you're so close. Just gotta find the right line. Oh, man. I don't know if it's gonna do this part, though. This is steep for this little wheelbase. Uh, well, we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh! Uh. Alright, well, I guess if you want an offline winch, go with the independent winch. Alright, I think that's enough for the rocks. It's a pretty short little SUV, so it's probably not going to do all that great. Let's go see how it does towing a little trailer. Alright, we got the little off-road scout trailer. Let's see how it does pulling a little bit of weight. Hopefully it doesn't hinder it too much. Ooh. You get that trailer swinging on this little truck, man. It's You are all over the place. I'm going to take her down the little trail. You know, surprisingly, this little thing is handling this trailer pretty decently. At least for now. We'll see how it does. See how it does the hill. Because that's... That's where we really see what the vehicle can do. Oh, and it's not giving up. Look at this. I mean, all things considered, this is a pretty big trailer to be hauling behind this little truck. Yeah, look at this little thing go. Wow, I didn't have to lock the diff or winch or nothing. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Not bad, little truck. Not bad. Alright, let's see how it does on the downhill once. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, we got her. Oh, I'm stuck on the... Stuck on the tree here. All right, now let's continue on our way. Actually, it wasn't too terrible to flip over with this big trailer. I guess I'm only seeing a big trailer just of the size compared to the to the truck. Go down through here. Let's see if we can get back up. Yeah, it seems like it clicks down in the first gear and it just kind of pulls its way out. You know, for such a small little SUV. It's actually doing pretty well. I think a lot of it has to do with with the tires. They they are pretty good. It also makes quite a bit of power for its for its size. It's it's an S S plus uh, power to weight, so it's not bad. Let's try the little hill. Let's see if we can get up here. Let's see if it. If it's got what it takes. It is a pretty light SUV. 
See if it can muscle its way up. Oh. It actually kind of looks like it wants to go. I think I'm digging a hole here. If I can get over just a little bit. Oh. Oh, it, it wants to go. Oh, man. Maybe if it was just a little heavier. So I think the tires are good enough. If it was just a little heavier, I bet it would do it. Well, let's send it on down the down the hill here. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, come on. Right at the bottom. <laughs> All right, with a little help from the 605R, we got her back over. Let's keep going. You know, you do get into a couple spots where I think it's just that the truck is so short and the trailer is so big that it doesn't want to flip over. But if you weren't carrying a trailer, I bet this thing would be really, really easy to flip back over. Oh, yeah, but she gets, oh, a little, oh, squirrely. That's that short wheel basin. I don't think these tires like the pavement all that much. Oh, man. And through this little muddy section, are we going to drop gear? Oh, we actually didn't. We actually shifted gears. Wow. Oh. That wasn't bad. We had a lot of vehicles drop gear right there. Ah, keeping that trailer from swinging, though, is damn near impossible. Oh, right there we dropped. Okay. Let's see how it is through the puddle. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop for sure because we just hit fourth gear at the beginning of it, so. That was inevitable. Like I said, it seems to just drop into first and just kind of pull its way out. Even through some of that stuff, it, it's churning it up, but it's it's moving, you know? Well, I mean, I, I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the Saki Lane Crusher M7. You know, for what it is, it's actually not that bad. For a little tiny truck, it's not really all that high off the ground. It didn't do bad. I really wish I had the add-on pack. I don't know. I, I did download it. I guess I must not have turned it on. I, don't, I have no idea what happened there. But there is more you can do to it than what I showed. But all around, not a bad little rig. I gotta say, it It did hold its own. You get through some of the deeper water and the deeper mud, yeah, it struggles, but, you know, it's not on 44s and a few inches higher, you know, for suspension-wise. But the tires seem to be good. It's nice and powerful. Good job with this one. I liked it. I had fun. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.